a very good morning. Welcome back to Why in the Morning. I promise you that we will have discussion of the day. My name is Sankara Kayesu, and today we are going to talk about Tabia. Tabia, 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 Wanaume, na Tabia. Yes, we are going to talk on the Tabias and the characters or the... Um, what do you call Tabia in English? Uh, behavior. Behavior, yes. Behaviors that men, that ladies need men to live this year. Like they have started, the first month is gone, the second month is gone, and they are still going on with it. So girls have called the conference and said, mm -hmm. we are going to summon men to stop this with immediate effect, and they are going to talk like politicians, without fear of, of contradiction. <laughs> My name is Ankara Kayesu and I'm not alone here. I am with the queens. The queens who are going to represent the cultural fraternity on things that they want men to live. And they are not new. They are people who have been here before and they are people who have authority. One is called Evelyn and one is called Nyeribo. Oh, you are, you are not proud of your African name? Oh, I am. Oh. <laughs> so introduce yourself. Say anything, everything about yourself. Hi, guys. My name is Brenda Nyeribo. Um, I feel welcome back here and I hope you guys enjoy seeing me here again. So let's see how the topic of today is going to go. Your social media handles? My social media handle is at the real Brenda on Instagram and Life of Neff on YouTube. Oh, you're the lady who had Life of Neck as... Uh... Life of Neff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Devlin, how are you? I'm fine. It's been one day since I saw you. Yeah. Yes, I love you. <laughs> you missed me? Yeah. Missed me. Yeah, I'm good. How is the airport? The airport is good. Yeah. It's cold out there. Oh, it's cold in Nairobi. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Remind them your social media handles. Uh, my Instagram uh, handle is Devlin D. My Twitter is the same, and also my Facebook accounts. Yes. Welcome, both of you. Once again, to in the morning, and especially to WCW. Thank, thank you. Uh, I, I got uh, a matching order from the ladies' fraternity now that I host this that there are things that men are still doing that they need to leave for 2021. It's like we had agreed that they are Zimbabwe 2021, but they are still happening. So it's like a summon, Kujeniapa. Uh, easy, easy, easy. There are a number of things. Uh, 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 we posted asking on your social media handles, especially on Facebook, to Liuliza Saseni, Nitabiakama Gani Lazima Wanaume Wache, who Mwaka. It's who Mwaka. The, the, the year is not new. See, it's not new, but Zina and Lea. So we had to talk about them. We are coming to read these comments 15 minutes. To the end of one in the morning, that is 15 minutes to 10 with one and only Michelle Ashira. But now let's talk about these things you are talking about. We will get back to them when the right time comes. Uh, and then we will go to what people are talking about so that okay. we discuss them. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I discussed with a, with a lot of ladies. I have lots of lady friends and I asked them, what do you think guys should stop this year? I feel like the things that we've had enough of. Mm -hmm. One of the things that most ladies spoke about was chores. Mm -hmm. Be it you're dating or you're, you're in a marriage. When you, when you guys are together, don't expect a girl to do all the house chores alone. It's not written anywhere that it's the girl's job Okay, maybe the older people have told us that and taught us that, but the world has changed. Like, people are both hustling. You're, you're together in a relationship, you're all going out to work and coming back late, tired. All of you need to be able to chip in when it comes to house chores. That's their opinion. And So, Brenda, Brenda you are saying that uh, men should stop lying on sofa as you wash dishes, yeah. as you mop. Yeah. Uh, don't you think... What do you, what do you, what exactly do you want men to do? We, we as women would yes. love men to help with house chores in the sense that people, we've both come out from work, we, we, are, we are both tired, we are, or whatever reason, mm. people get tired for many reasons. Yes. So if one is going to do laundry, at least 
bring yourself and wash the dishes or something. And then when she's done, she can come and cook, you know, find clean dishes and cook. It's it's relax and and there's so much to be done in the house and it's only one person. I hope that will also come with responsibilities that you'll also be contributing money, not half of money in this relationship. If I'm doing half of the course, you will also be doing contributing half of the money. Una lipa rent, niki lipa TV, na niki pemaji. I feel like most women don't have a problem with it. I feel like most women don't have a problem with doing that, especially come out there making money. Yes. Okay, your opinion about that, then you tell me. I think it is the same. Yeah, we feel like we need some help around the house. Men should stop tweeting every time, browsing their phones when their girlfriends are doing the job. Mm. If I'm preparing a meal, chop the onions. Is Let me chop is the tomatoes. No, 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 no. I think it is that era that we can share the duties, we can mm. share chores. Mm. Because you will expect me at the end of the day or at the end of the month to pay water bills. If I was married or something, Nalipa, Uyo Mama, Auntie, Anakuja could take care of us. You see now. Mm. But for you, you will pay the rent. And other things. So, kwa hivyo, tuna agree kwa squeeze ya kuna kazi ya demu na kazi ya chali. Yes. Kazi zote watu watu wafana. Yes. No, not like that. Yeah. Okay, kuna... If we put it like that, some people might feel like to know Angelia, but mm. like well, be Saidia, Saidia. It's not about <laughs> actually you must do it. Yeah. You just it's nice when you help someone out. You know, there's yeah. that thought behind it that makes it even the relationship becomes easier to handle. Is because it romantic? It's, yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Very. And it's romantic to help with the house. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You feel like this person really cares about me. You know. Sorry. And <laughs> If a woman is happy, hey. you'll be happy. Okay, <laughs> add one, add one, then we come to the blame. Any other thing? Because you told me you talked to people, they gave yeah. you a number of points. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So another thing that a lot of us women feel like it should stop this year and going onwards is body shaming. Because, and this is done a lot by both genders, but men men's opinions actually really affects women more than fellow women's opinions right very true so i feel like when men start saying at girls with bigger ass are more attractive or mm -hmm. girls with bigger boobs are more attractive or vice versa you know you make a woman feel like i need to do more on my body to be yeah. able to look attractive you see most girls out there even on social media, they, they take pills, they go for surgeries, they do bizarre things on their bodies just to be able to reach that society standard of beauty, which is, honestly speaking, it's non-existent. Everybody has their own taste. You might like me and, and someone else won't like me. Or you might not like me and many other people will like me, you know. It's not a must that you please everyone. That's, that's what I mean. And I feel like guys should keep their negative opinions to themselves when it comes to women's bodies because everyone is beautiful in their own way. Are you saying, Rebo, that men should stop talking about their tastes? When I say I love a woman of this shape, of this texture, of this color, of this different. complexion, is it, is it, and you are not that, is, is that what you call body shaming? No. no. Mm -hmm. Body shaming is when you... It's okay to have tastes and preference, but don't come and start telling uh, a lady maybe that you've shown interest in or who is interested in you, Ati. Uh, you know me, I can't date you anymore because I feel like you're not fat, you're not big enough, or you're too, or you're too, <laughs> too big. Skinny. You know, sometimes even yeah. it's big BBWs who are body shamed. Yeah. Somebody can be huge. Yeah. yeah. Yes. So <laughs> you shouldn't. That's inhuman. Even you're you're emotionally attacking the person because yeah. some of these things, maybe to them they didn't realize they they. Or you're trying to make someone to be fit. Don't tell them in a way that will make them feel like they are being bullied or something. You remember the, the era of cyberbullying? Yeah. 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 Don't do it in such a negative way. Just keep your opinion about who your taste is to yourself if you're telling someone who's interested in you. Uh, yeah. uh, or you go for your taste. You yeah, go for just what go you for want. your taste. Instead yes. of taking what you don't want. And you yeah. want to change and it. Then you want to yes. change yeah. Her, yeah. Yeah. Or you may be, uh, you are telling her that you are not what I want. Yes. Yeah. And you've taken her. Yeah, that, 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 I get that point. Mm -hmm. Your opinion about that? So, my opinion is the same. I think men should change on that this year. 
Yeah. Are you sure so many men do it? Yes. Yeah, a lot. They really like do it. Like men are telling you that you're not having enough boobs. It's so serious. Know. It's even, they normally post such things on WhatsApp. Yeah. WhatsApp is the easiest social media handle to find people. So when you see your friends posting such things and you feel like, oh, I'm too fat or I'm too thin. Too I don't, skinny. Yeah, you, 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 Wait, you get like a Wait, and then you are slim. Not necessarily. And not then necessary. And, a, and a post on social media that I don't like slim ladies. Slim ladies. It's not even about even the person who's dating you only. When you see most of the guys posting those memes and and mm -hmm. you're there yes. opposite of what they are saying they like, mm -hmm. you will be affected. Oh. Yes. So I feel like they should be mindful of what they say or post out there because a lot of ladies are doing things to yeah. themselves. I think Kayesu, that mm -hmm. is a very sensitive thing to women. Mm -hmm. I think uh, when you are bullied, you, when you say I'm not pretty enough mm -hmm. or I'm not what enough, I think it is time, don't even say it out loud. Mm. You can keep that thought to yourself. Mm. You can appreciate someone for being beautiful, but don't rub it on the face on another person. Mm. You see now, mm. it will make things easy. It is okay to tell someone, hey, you really look beautiful mm -hmm. or you are beautiful. Mm -hmm. But because the other friend is there, and you don't have to tell, where ukai vizuri, you don't have to say it out loud. You could have just stopped up, you, you really look beautiful. Yeah. I have, I've, I've seen where men do it. Yes. Like, kikuita, eh, mrambo, ebu kuja, kuja, alafu, uringe, uwele. I'm getting there. No, I have another thing men should stop doing. Oh, okay. Ron, Okay. My first thing is about thoughts. About Makanga. Yes. Or these people who are qualine, especially mm. men. Mm. They are really touchy. Touchy. Touchy, extra touchy. Yeah. They want to drag you. Maybe you are in a in a very small top mm. that is not even covering your body enough. Mm -hmm. Then they are touching you all over. I think that is, I really hate that behavior. I think <laughs> it is time men stop doing that, especially touts. If you are watching there and you are going to pass by and you're using a public vehicle, please sensitize these people on such things. We women don't like that. Talk to us nicely. Tell us, Kayesu, si tuingia kwa igari, ni, ni hi, this is the price, you mm -hmm. see? Mm -hmm. It will be much easier than touching me, you know? I I really think that is something men should stop doing. There was a video we played here with, with Michelle in the morning mm -hmm. of Makanga, wana beba hulu man, like wana nganganea. What is that, Australia? Janet, Janet, if you can get that video to play just once again, here Makanga, wana nganganea, when you beba hulu mama. Yeah, like it's, it, it well, Iyo kubeba is too extreme. Yes, but unasema yeah. kushika tu. But unajua Even unashika. the kukari. You know that yeah. has happened to me. The yeah. makanga wa the little fauti. Right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, wanakuona and then kila mtu anakuwa mtu anakushika. So they are pulling you here. There's some Others are pulling yeah. you. You know, you actually feel physical pain. Yes. Yeah. And we don't even like to... Oh, we don't like to be touched by people we don't even know. Strangers. Oh, like. It is okay for my boyfriend to hold my hand. But who are you to hold my hand? You see now, in become public. so bad. Yes, yeah. in public. I don't think it's only you, but you story of Makanga at a music mm. Like, you know, at a two Kikuguza, you know, you're not even going to Dandora. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you're, not, you're just passing. And KSU, most of them are men, you can't find women doing that. You'll never find yes. yes. out. Yes. Yeah, there are very few women. No, you can't find women doing that. Even doing few, that. they respect and someone's face. Yeah. Yes, yes. yes. Okay. I'm going to show you stage and I'm going to show you how to do it. See now? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> 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 ah, yeah, yeah, they respect the space uh, by the way. Uh, and and they're nice. <laughs> Have you seen aggressive <laughs> female Makangas? They can beat a whole. <laughs> 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 but they Video kikujana is a ad point yes, on that. Yeah, uh, ah, so true. there's this thing about dressing to impress. Mm -hmm. Yes. Women want men to. <laughs> Imagine the energy they're, put, they're putting to pull her. Everyone wants them on on their side. They want yeah. her. She is physically being harmed there. I'm so sure that woman felt so disrespected uh. and probably. 
hata hiyo confidence tena hata kwa hata nayo but atafanya makosa ni kuangania na ngangania hiyo hata kama nanganganiwa yeah. unaweza hata feel afraid to to go and kwa hizo magari, kwa hizo magari tena mm. because you'll feel like last time walinibeba mm. this time they'll rip off my clothes mm. you never know so I feel like that is something it really needs to be sensitized and men should stop doing it. I feel you. Yeah. I feel you. There's something you were adding when you were playing the video. Yeah, on that point, uh, I'm just relating it to your point. Mm -hmm. Men should know that we don't dress to impress them. We dress because we feel happy with how we look. And <laughs> I feel like that's a point that has many women have tried to speak about over the years, yes. but guys don't believe that. Uh, Thing is, we don't do it for men. We do we do it for ourselves. You see, when you feel good, you you dress good, you feel good, you smell fresh, you will have confidence. I'm so, sure all of you. But I feel like I can. I'm sure all of you are dressing not to be seen. Unless a Some, girl has an agenda, like yeah. maybe to pass with your man. But do you or, think most of the time you have I this agenda? No. no, it is the exact opposite of In what you're saying. In fact, most of the time yes. we don't dress to impress you, but you know, sometimes we dress to impress you. Yeah, like if you're going for a for date. A date. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. but on a normal day, I'm walking in here. Okay, for, for example, her she's in a short dress. Yes. You can't say she's here to impress you. Yeah, yeah, she looks yes, she looks good. Maybe yeah. she feels confident yes, about it. Yes, you see, yes. and your time will come. Maybe when you take your girl out, she mm. will dress to impress you. Maybe you like her in this. She will dress like that. Yeah. So you are insinuating that men should stop thinking that when you dress, you dress for them. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Uh, that's why such cases like the woman, not for a, a younger lady, you go to Panda Matatu and then guys are fighting for you because you look nice. Yes. Sometimes they even drag you to a vehicle you don't mm -hmm. go to that place, mm -hmm. to the destination. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. But then when you enter the car, unambiwa in and And then mm -hmm. you ask, why did you bring me here? Because they drag you to mm -hmm. the car. And then they start telling you, ulikuwa tu na kapoa, so tu leo na to spend time. Mm -hmm. Now what is that? Yeah. They've wasted your time, they've wasted your energy, umearid your moods, ukibuto vuto kila mahali, and now you're in a car going to a different destination. Can you imagine what girls go through? Yeah. There's a lady also telling me that uh, umeka kwa matatu, alafu manaume ameka kando yako, alafu anataka miguzenu. Yeah, they start rubbing uh, their migu, legs towards you. Miguzu shikane hivi. Yeah. Mwena. That is so embarrassing. Embarrassing? Yes. See, I think uh, I'm like Paul Sutra. No! no. <laughs> <laughs> what is that, honestly? <laughs> that is why you men will be slapped by women because you are disrespecting them. Michelle is looking at me like she wants to jump here and slap me. <laughs> no, it's right. People, you know, hey, you can't hey. just bring your body towards me just yeah. because I look good or I smell nice. But hey, women slap men for such yeah. behaviors. And they can no, really not, get mad. It's not spontaneous. It's pole, 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 pole. pole. No, but it's, you know, Unajua. I feel like you should start by being a gentleman. Yes. Strike yeah. a conversation if you like the girl. Oh. Yes. In a, respect, mm -hmm. in a respectable manner. But don't start being, oh, at kiasi kiasi. Uh -huh. I don't know who you are. <laughs> <not. laughs> I want to confirm something about you. Where is there right now? At night. Where? Where is there here in Nairobi? Ama? Uh -uh, no, no, no. Shago. Okay, see. Oh, so you do this long travels yeah. when you go home. Yeah. Have you ever done them at night? Yeah. Have you ever sat near men? Yeah, I always sit near men. Uh, <laughs> you have in a way. Yes. Through that long journey, eight, eight hours journey. Yes, and, and I lose you and it's my dark. peace. Yeah, and actually there was a time that I, I even almost got ripped. It's my dad who came to my rescue. In because, the past? Yeah, it's in the evening. The driver starts saying that the car has broken down and there's, there are no vehicles, it's raining. And then, uh, you know, people got out, uh, the ones with kids and everything. Mm -hmm. So, what were picky picky, well, could jambi ombio, kasema, acha tu wako yao, nyo wako na watoto, tu na wakujia. Do you know, we were left in the vehicle, two girls and the driver and his conductor. Then this guy starts being weird and getting all touchy. The eh, conductor, he, ama the driver passenger. and the, the conductor was also disturbing the other girl. Ooh. So it's at night, it's raining, uh, people have left, we are waiting for more motorbikes to come and get us, and then these guys are getting all touchy on the road and there's no one around. Me, I got to peace, me, I had to call my dad. Eh. So my dad had to come all the way to where we were to oh, make sure that I was okay. I know, that's bad, yeah. that's bad, that's bad, you could have taken people are dangerous. against those I people. wanted to, but I hear it's a common thing, so...
That is something Sometimes men should stop really doing. Being yeah. Sometimes yeah. Very hard being okay, yes, so I think so you, you should hear be the experiences of people who travel long at night. Yeah. Yeah, it's mm. it's very common in, in our route. In our uh, route yes. But, it's not but, common in but our route, is, but, but if it is uh, like uh, he approached you the way, yeah, yeah in a respectable saying, manner, mm -hmm, you live and feel safe. Yes, at that time, there are number of people. Yes, yes. Yeah, he yeah. gonga kipita, gonga moja. That's why we are gonga na udzamuli zaka na chaka. Naga maakuli. I love that agree. So by the time we talk up, Adi, Mfike, Sema Limuru, we go in a relationship. Na zamlalia. No. Yeah, it happened. I know people who are lighter than Narok. They are going to to kiss it, mm -hmm. and then the relationship started. Wakazi <laughs> interaction wakiwa hapa nini? Wakiwa hapa country bus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, by the time they reached Narok, mkasema shuke. Tulisikei Kenya ni madare moja. Well, it shuke, it was the bus that has three seats. So I was like at the window, then there is them katikati, then uchari. Wakaza tu nikisikia. Nikisikia tu ito hivyo hivyo tu pole wakusama isi. Shuke hapa. Mini mechoka na hii jani. Shuke. Walishuka nililala kwa hiyo. Mini peki yangu. Ani kisi walishuka. So some ladies are encouraging it I think. But now let's not take too much time on that. You have said about being touched. And by the way being touched is not all just about what I think there are men yeah, who are being even outside, yeah, even in, the in their clubs, cars, maybe in the clubs, maybe going to an interview. Yes, yes. interviews. Mm. I think that is something that cuts across every field, so they are supposed to change on that. We had a video of Mutu Akuna Mkono Mrefu, and, mm. and Michelle liked it. So Mkono Mrefu, Mastena Wamesema, you stop this year. Mm. Stop, stop it! Stop it. Yeah, give me a scamper. So there is something that has been disturbing me a lot, yes. but it is not necessarily affecting women, but I feel men should stop drinking and driving. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. It is not affecting us is women it personally. Women who drink and drive? Yeah. The many cases that are happening in Kayesu, many men are drinking and driving. Mm -hmm. So many cases have been here about men who are getting in accidents, wanakufa, very young people who could have avoided. In this era, we have Ubers, we have friends, we have so many people to take care of us even we are drunk, when mm. we are drunk mm. or when people are drunk. They can even sleep on those places, Adi Kwe Soba. Uh. Now I feel like men should stop drinking and driving. Oh. Yeah, Wanda Wakuna cases very high as a Pata accidents yes. now amelewa. Mm. So I know it is not affecting us women, but it is something they need to know that they should stop doing it. Enough of having all these cases at once, many several times. It's very true, Devlin, yes. that it's rare to find cases where there is accident on mm -hmm. a car being driven by a lady. Yeah. And that's why those who sell cars second hand, most of them they, they say it's it was being driven by a lady. Mm -hmm. Because it's taken that you guys are gentle, like yeah. you are not gentle drivers. You are gentle drivers. You don't drive. You don't drink. Drive. Yes. If you must drink, you drink milk. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's why guys it's, say women don't know how to drive. Yeah, but it is okay for women to drink too. But you know they take care of themselves. Yeah. Why can't men be that vulnerable? Lazima ujiona nishevilo. You have a nice German machine. Yeah. You have to drive it when you are. High or something to prove something to people. I think that is some weird thing people have. I think just take care of yourself. It is your life. Mm. When you you lose your life, many people are going to feel the loss. What of what of drinking in general? Do you think men are just drunkards? I do think most men are drunkards. There is no problem with drinking. Oh, according to you. Yes, according to me. Do you have problem with men drinking too much? Too much, much is a problem. Too much. It depends with what is too much and what <laughs> the guy can handle. Mm -hmm. But I don't have an issue with men drinking. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's their own personal. Yes. Are you through? I bring my, my what people are telling me. No, yeah. I'm not done with my points. Okay. I have many. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> so uh, there's this other point that 
I received, I don't know if I should do her shout out, but it was a very thoughtful point. Do so, shout out, do shout out. This one goes to Angie. Angie said, Angie is my friend, yeah. Angie said that men should remember their parents and guardians. In this sense, when you're busy spending on ladies out there and trying to show girls that you've got it all and everything, remember your mom back at home. Do nice things for your mom or your auntie, whoever raised you, because these are the people who are our ride and dies out mm -hmm. there. Yeah. And that point doesn't seem like something so serious, but when you think about it honestly, People don't remember their parents when it comes to the fun part of life. Did you say that was originated by Angie? Yeah. Um, nah, yeah that is very, very a, a good point and it's it's rare that a lady can raise that point yeah. because most of the time there is contention between daughter-in-law and mother-in-law. Mm -hmm. I don't know why you guys always fight. But now this is a lady who is caring for mother-in-law. Yeah. Yeah, it looks nice. The point is, you can't Okay, even if you're trying to impress a woman that you like, you can't expect, let me put myself in her shoes, you can't expect me to trust that you'll be always good towards me if you're not good to your mom. Uh, yeah, there's always issues between daughters-in-laws and mother-in-laws, but when a girl sees that you really do take care of your mother, that, that kind of makes her feel like you're, you're going to do the same for her and your kids okay. if you guys develop a family. You've learned something. Yeah, I want to add on that. Yes. I think what she says is um, when, for example, a man wants to build a house for his father, mm -hmm. remember? The, the wife's parents too. Yeah. Like if there is an upkeep you always send to the father, to, to the guy's parents, remember the girl's parents as well. Why don't you remember your parents? Why are you, why are you forcing me to remember your parents? No, we are not I forcing, we are not forcing, we are just saying you, we can do it. Watch a sequel to one sided junior. You also remember my parents. Yes. Because you've seen Brenda is saying that I should remember my parents. He's not saying that the lady should remember man's parents. Why? Why are you saying that the man should also remember the lady's parents when they also have parents to, to take care of? In I think it should say. be mutual. It should be an understanding that uh, Sisi ni watoto. So say when you come to when you get married, you are one. Now you have four parents yes. as one. Oh. Now you need to provide for all them. All of them. You you will not be like um, I'm just going to provide for those who brought me up. Mm -hmm. You see, mm -hmm. you've come as one, so oh. you need to provide as one yes. to all of them because they brought up you all. Mungina na sema wana ume wa oge Oh yeah. Two. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and I felt like in a at least maybe most of us women take a shower at least twice in a day in the morning and in the evening is <laughs> so that we can feel like, ladies, yeah. if your man does not shower you, it's your responsibility yes, it's, to tell him. Yeah. As in, we can discuss yeah. the TV at your men or your men. Because men, men do shower, baby. Yeah. Men. Yeah. Men we have clean men. But somebody accused men here. We'll read it. Somebody it's accused men of not to shower. Don't. Or maybe <laughs> the only boyfriend working here. Uh, but, uh, we can't say it's the boyfriend, Peke. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, uh, 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 I think most men don't shower. <laughs> no, me, me know most men do shower, yeah. but then there are those who don't, because a guy can pass you. Oh my hey, god. Hey, hey, hey. Men also should give women money, Pierre. Oh! Girlfriend allowances. Girlfriend allowances, please. We want girlfriend allowances. Let me let me elaborate. Yes. Yeah. 
wanaume mwache kwa stingy because i'm not saying that because women want girlfriend allowance <laughs> what karibu ni sheme and i'm not i'm not saying because of the allowance thing i'm just saying men should have the mentality of mm. a provider yes that's how it is acha nani na ma feminist that is do women yeah, can do yeah, yeah. you do your part whatever. you're supposed to have the mentality of i should be able to provide that's what gives you the energy to hustle the mm -hmm. energy to work hard because you know you're supposed to provide for maybe your parents mm -hmm. your siblings mm -hmm. your girlfriend mm -hmm. or your wife you know mm -hmm. if you have that mentality mm -hmm. stories are changing as it uh, as it are coming in the picture also men should stop spending so much on their boys clubs and forgetting that we are here why do you want to control we are our here money? why do you want to we don't to want to control your money you. but spend on us the same way you spend on boys club and we will not complain yes yes, yes. the same way you, you go, go there. buy drinks worth 50000 per night aki <laughs> otazigena no no checky checky guys the topic is giving ladies ladies order to men yeah no no but otazigena Case, I have, have a question. Yeah. A man goes out <laughs> with boys at night. They spend around a hundred thousand on drinks. To say, my wife has only chuck fifty thousand yeah. as a man, yeah. as my man. Alafu ni mekula bosho namchele. How is no, that even possible? Mm. Uh, as 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 a, 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 for what? You know what? what? You know what? Yeah. Uh, sometimes we, they, the food alone. Yeah, there's yeah. this saying among women. Mm -hmm. uh, we see a man's in it uwezo wake through yeah, yeah. his lady yes. Yes. if your woman looks shagalabaga do you nothing among the women yeah. fraternity oh. because you're not doing you yes you have money yes you go for fun things fun, you yeah. go for road you have trips, a nice car but your that. girl looks like shit yeah. let's no see the flip side of that <laughs> can you also spend on your man yes. very well okay i'll splash that let money me tell you, you see women okay. women wait to see how is, How is he going to do it? If you if you show a girl that you're you're generous, yes. she'll also she will be generous for you. Yeah. But then she'll try. If you're just there always mm. crying, oh I don't know, do you have yeah. Don't borrow women money. Yes. Borrow your friends, borrow your parents, but don't go to borrow your girlfriend money. <laughs> Let her be the last option. <laughs> yeah, the, the when last the world option. has turned its back against you, now you can come and borrow money. But don't the don't put her money on me is the bodyling and faithfulness things like that this. one is people have spoken about it I, no so many no, no, i think saying that it's going on yeah. yes i had a, we had us is it possible even to stop i i can Me, comment I on that it's not it's not I, I, no, it's not us. that it's you, impossible. You, you, you yeah, me yeah. say this I point. feel like uh, we had another segment here, and all men were unfaithful. You will be surprised. <laughs> men out here say that kila mtu wako na mtu mwingine apart from their girlfriends, <laughs> and I was shocked. <laughs> imagine Devlin. Imagine. Let me tell you, Brenda. Devlin immediately after the show ask the man with whom you are. I think it was last Monday, directly. Maybe you can um, say it. Yeah, so he say said yes. Oh yeah. my God. And he was a man yeah. who was looking very gentle. So yeah. So he said, maybe you can say it. Imagine directly. So the villain, went out here with a conclusion that all men have side chicks. 90% of men, you have someone else apart from your girlfriends. Please, if you're married and you're thinking about having a side chick, stop. Aish. Yes. Okay. But the other if But now Brenda Brenda here Brenda Nyaribu has said that it is not easy to stop. But you can stop especially if you're married. <laughs> I don't see an excuse of having another person unless you bring her to the house. I think some cultures uh, appreciate or accept polygamous mm -hmm. marriages. Mm -hmm. Bring the woman at home. Stop cheating. Can you have your coif? No. Ah, so look at this. Cultures. Look at I said this. cultures. So your culture From my allow. culture, it doesn't allow polygamous. From oh. your culture, probably you allow polygamous. So I was saying, if your culture allows it, embrace it. But if your culture does not, just just stop cheating. Especially if you're married, that thing sucks. But if you're, kama nini yao wengine amjawana namna. Let me not find you. Okay, but you know, you know the other side of this story. Mm -hmm. is that those ch side chicks men have are women, they are ladies. The same ladies who don't want men to have side chicks allow 
men, um, allow married men, or allow or seduce their friends' boyfriends. Yeah, so Very is it true. not that the saying, the common saying that women are their own enemies? They are. So, and, uh, okay, it, depending on what the situation is, we can say women are their own enemies. But when we look at, we already have snakes among us then let's look at the problem me i feel like you see uh, you've spoken about cultures allowing polygamous yeah. marriages so in kenya it's a law that was passed that a man can have as many wives as he wants Kumbe, you, saw, you saw that yeah, yeah. and mm -hmm. i was so much against it but right <laughs> now i gave up <laughs> this is the reason because you see those men who cheat, those married men, the men in relationships, or sometimes a girl may know or may not know when she's getting together with a man. Yes. And let's assume the girl knows. Uh, I, I wanted to say, that's the reason I was saying it might be so hard to stop the cheating thing that has been going on because because you can't control adults and what they want to do. Mm. In the long run, you're, you're the one to decide, will you stay with this person who Brenda's cheated on given me? Up. Brenda's given up on this polygamy thing. Please. I, think, <laughs> I think I'll not give up on that because personally, I'll not like to be in such a position. Yes. I'll not want to be in such a situation. And just in case someone is out there and they want me, just know I don't like that. <laughs> You'd rather come and tell me openly, hey, Devlin, I feel like, um, I don't know. I'm what what is an excuse for, for cheating? Um, there's this, no excuse this, for this cheating. No excuse. See now, why there. would you cheat? Exactly. People, people are grown. You can't control their own choices, mm -hmm. you know. And I feel like... Um, if I cheated on you, if I was your man and I cheated on you, and then you, it will be up to you to decide if you're going to forgive me and let us, and give us a chance, of which doing that most likely I'll cheat on you again. Don't you think we are encouraging them to cheat? Yeah, so you as an individual, you're supposed to know, do I, will I condone this or will, but you've or given what up. do? Yeah, she's given up, she's saying yeah, that's, that's like, what men are. I'm giving up because I'm like, there are the, not, like you said, not all men cheat. You yes. know, so if I meet one who cheated on me, I'd let him go because yeah. oh, yes. because he's he's that way. I, I you, know you can't that you will ultimately get one who will <laughs> never cheat. No, I don't know if I would get one who would never cheat, but I'd rather take my chances than stay in a relationship where someone where is someone cheating cheats. and there's the risk of deceit. Somebody told me that uh, the devil invented two commandments above the ten. Command num commandment number eleven says. Uh, thou shall not be caught. So people are doing <laughs> everything like they will see that they do, but they are not caught. Like in your case, your man will really try not to be caught. Yeah. Commandment number 12 says if you are caught, deny, deny, deny. <laughs> uh, so people are really denying. Uh, that wasn't me. But let us finish with our time is really up yeah. with a very serious thing here. Mm -hmm. Violence. Men are still violent yes. in 2022. Some are sli still slapping their girlfriends or doing the worst that you guys watch in the news. Talk to men about violence, being violent on their partners. Let's start with you, Brenda. Uh, I've ever been in a violent relationship. Mm -hmm. I wasn't beaten, but I used to be strangled. Mm. Oh. <laughs> do, do, I'm an aggressive girl. Like you can't just tell me to do something. You talk back. Yeah, I talk, that was my issue, uh. and still is. Mimi was the baby we are So the guy didn't like someone who talks back. I guess I don't know. So the quickest way to nyamazishami was kuninyonga. Hey. <laughs> Just so and oh, I'll get scared. Oh, no, I got out of the relationship. Oh. That's my point. If you're in a violent relationship, get out of it fast. You'll deal. If you want to help the person, help him out of the relationship. You have talked to the lady. Now talk to the, the violent And the man, man. Yes. Uh, the moment you start getting physically, you start engaging yeah. with me physically like that, you lose my respect yes. on the spot. Because oh. first of all, I'll see you a week. That's why you're, you're picking on someone mm. smaller than you. Okay. And number two, I'll feel like you have insecurity issues. Yes. Yeah. Number three, I'll feel like your mama didn't raise you right. Yeah. Because you're attacking mm -hmm. a woman. Number four, I'll feel like your parents should have taught you more. <laughs> it's not just your mom, even your dad. <laughs> because <laughs> even <laughs> men... <laughs> no, me <laughs> 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 
<laughs> so, we blame the man, your insecurity issues, your mother, since you respect your mother but you're busy attacking other women out there, and four, your father didn't teach you that you're supposed to respect women. You're not supposed to be tired. Say no. something about this violence. Uh, for me, I'll feel like all wrapped it in one basket. That sounds so uncivilized. Like, we are past beating our women. If you don't agree on issues, you can talk out, you can divorce, you can... There are so many options, options to get out of that situation. Mm -hmm. yeah. You beat me just because I went out to look for money. You're not comfortable with me going to look for money, then provide for all my needs, you okay. see? Or you beat me because I don't know I did what. I think that sounds so uncivilized, honestly. We, you can get a way out. Yes. Yes, so women, sit down your men, and if they become more violent, get out, file for divorce, you can really get the out. The point is home. 20 seconds closing remarks, 20 seconds closing remarks, we call it off. So guys, I hope you've listened to what we've discussed today, and I hope that it impacts your lives differently and in a more positive way. Uh, leave a comment below, and make sure you write if you want to see me here again. Okay, I've left <laughs> your social media handles.